Welcome sa sipnayan.com. In this video ay tutuloy natin yung ating series on sets at dito sa video na to ay mag-aaral tayo kung nagbibig sabihin na subset. No? So, kung makikita nyo sa inyong screen, meron tayong um, dalawang sets, yung A at yung B. No? And from the diagram, you can see that uh, A is inside B. Ibig sabihin lahat ng elements of set A ay nasa loob din siya ng elements ng set B. Now, for example, may element ako dito. For example, 4. No? Yung element ko ng set A. Then I can say, symbolically, that 4 is an element of set A. No? Uh, I, can, I can say that 4 is an element of set A. Or, no, napag-aralan na natin yung symbol. No? 4 is an element of Four is an element of A. No? Now, ano ba ano mga implication nito pag member yung four? No? Four is a member of set A or an element of set A. From here, makikita natin that uh, if four is an element of set A, automatically, it's also an element of set B. Kasi nasa loob na siya, di ba? I think it's, this is obvious from the diagram. So, four is an element of set A automatically means means that 4 is also an element of set B. Automatic na siya kasi nasa loob nga siya. Eh, no? And yung automatically means sa mathematics usually ang pinapalit natin dyan ng word ay implies. So implies pwede mong sabihin automatically means or means no? for an element of B. So, sinasabi mo lang na pag, pag element siya ng A, automatic element din siya ng B as in the diagram here. And another way of uh, saying it or writing it is yung parang arrow. No? Yun yung implies. Okay? So, para siyang arrow. Oh, it's very hard. Gawa na lang tayo ng straight line. So, parang ganyan siya. Ganyan yung ating implies. Anyway. We took the trouble. Yan. Parang ganyan siya, no? So, for element of A implies for element of B. Parang parang ibig sabihin niya, itong tatlong to, no? Um, ito iba naman ito. No? Kami natin square ito. Okay? So, if this is the case, no? If uh, given two sets, A and B, definition na tayo, no? Given two sets, A and B, no? Now, when each, when each element When each element of A also belongs to um, B, no? or X, nga, gamitin na natin to, no? So, for any element, ibig sabihin itong X, kahit ano man, uh, 3, uh, negative 2, 8. Tapos na sa labas, 7, 5. So, if any of the elements here also belongs to the elements of B, X element of A implies that X is an element of B. No? And A is said to be a subset. Subset. So, here, A is a subset of B. No? So, kung makikita ninyo, ang A natin dito is the set uh, negative 2, we have 3, we have 4, 8, no? And then, our set B is uh, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, what else? 7, 8, no? So, apat dito, tsaka dalawa sa... Oh, sorry. 
wala pa lang 8. So, apat sa loob, dapat 6 siya, no? Uh, 2, negative 2, 3, oh, meron pa lang 8, sorry. 8. Oh, naduling na ako. Anyway, apat sa loob, tsaka dalawa sa labas. So, we can see all of the members here. Ibig sabihin, yung x nito, uh, ibig sabihin, any member, any member here, is also a member of set P. So, ang negative 2 ba, member ba siya dito? Yes. Ang 3 ba dito, member ba siya dito? Yes. 4, yes. 8, yes. So, if all the members, if any of the members here is also located, can be also uh, located here, or if any member here is also a member of the, the, the set here, then we can say that A is a subset. Yeah? Is a subset. Of, yeah? Or, uh, another way of writing A is a subset of B is unahin mo yung B, tapos sa kanya naman paharap yung U na parang merong uh, merong ano, merong parang base, no? Merong linya sa base. No? Uh, we read this as uh, B contains A or A is contained in B or A is a subset of B, no? So, yun yung mga pagbasa natin sa kanya. Uh, another example. Now, if... Uh, If we let, if we let uh, A, uh, if we let P, set P equals um, 3, 4, and we let Q be equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, then, lahat ng mga members na nandito ay nandito rin siya sa Q, no? So, nandito yung 3, nandito din yung 4. So, pwede natin sabihin P is a subset of Q, no? This is example 1. Example 2. If we let um, V be equal to A, E, I, O, and U, no? Ano to mga to? Ito yung mga vowel letters, no? And we let A be the alphabet, be the English alphabet. Alam niyo naman siguro na no, English alphabet, no? Ilang letters siya? 26, no? Then, remember, pwede tayo mag ganito, no? Members of the, pwede tayo mag-descriptive, no? Aside from this thing. Then we can also say that V is a subset of Kasi lahat, syempre ang English alphabet, nandun lahat ng mga letters, no? A, A, B, C, D, F to Z, and A, E, I, O, lahat, lahat yan ay nandito din. So we say that uh, A is a subset of, or V is a subset of A. Example 3, if we let E be the set of even integers, set of uh, even integers. And if we let a, a Z be the set of integers. Ito, lahat na ito. Set of integers. Then, E is a subset of Z. No? So, ang integers kasama na yung positive, kasama yung negative, Kasama na even, kasama na yung odd. No? Pero ito even lang siya. So, mas maliit ito. Well, well pareho lang naman yan. But anyway, um, this is the, well, kung infinity ang pag-uusapan natin, and ayaw ko siyang i-discuss, but hindi sila pareho ng number of elements. Ano? But here, this is a subset of, I mean, pareho sila ng number of elements. But here, E is a subset of Z. I-raise yun na rin sinabi ko about the number of elements. But here, I think it's uh, ob obvious that the set of even integers is also a subset of the Z or the set of integers. Okay, so I think yan yung ating uh, pinaka-examples uh, at uh, yung definition natin ng ating uh, subset. See you in the next tutorial.